Men, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Erectile dysfunction. That which men are afraid to talk about in most cases and perhaps are terrified of. Erectile dysfunction. What is erectile dysfunction? According to the Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research, erectile dysfunction, shortened ED, can be defined as the inability to get and keep an erection firm enough for sex. Inability to get and to keep that erection for satisfying sex. What are the causes of erectile dysfunction? It can be caused by endocrine diseases. That is where the body's endocrine system produces hormones that regulate metabolism, sexual function, reproduction, mood, and much more. Diabetes is an example of an endocrine disease that can cause a person to experience impotence. Neurological and nerve disorders. Several neurological conditions can increase the risk for impotence. Nerve conditions affect the brain's ability to communicate with the reproductive system. This can prevent a person from achieving an erection. Essentially, the penis is not receiving the signal from the brain that tells it to get firm. Also, certain medications, the taking of certain medications can contribute to ED. Taking certain medications can affect blood flow, which can lead to ED. An example, central nervous system stimulants, such as cocaine or amphetamines. So men, you better think twice about shooting up that coke or floating high on those meds. Also, cardiac conditions can contribute to ED. Conditions that affect the heart. Stands to reason, yes? And its ability to pump blood well can cause impotence. Of course, without enough blood flow to the penis, a person can't achieve an erection. It's all about blood flowing into the penis. There are also lifestyle factors and emotional disorders that contribute to erectile dysfunction. To achieve an erection, a person must become excited. This phase can be an emotional response. If a person has an emotional disorder, this affects their ability to become sexually excited. Depression and anxiety are associated with increased risk for impotence. Depression is a feeling of sadness, loss of hope, or helplessness. Fatigue related to depression can also cause impotence. Rest is a significantly important factor in being able to perform at peak sexually. Then there is a matter of what you eat, your diet and erectile dysfunction. Research has shown that there are some foods that can contribute to erectile dysfunction. There you see the graphic. Three foods that cause erectile dysfunction. And at the end of this video, I'm going to point you in the direction of a website where you can find out exactly what those three foods are. So what are the effects of erectile dysfunction? Let's start with the psychological effect. Performance anxiety is very common in men with erectile dysfunction. And it is the anxiety a man experiences when he perceives that he is not getting an erection fast enough, and that direction is not firm enough, or that it does not seem to last long enough. Now we're talking about... Mm, extreme levels of anxiety. This can cause a man serious stress. 
It occurs when an occasional episode of erectile failure becomes an expected outcome of each subsequent sexual event. So, as we said earlier, uh, you can be tired or perhaps you, you may have picked up some bug in your system. Something, a one-off incident that causes you to either not uh, get an erection fast enough, firm enough, or one that lasts long enough. As a, as a one-off incident, you now become anxious about that occurrence and begin to worry as to whether this is going to be happening repeatedly on future sexual encounters. There are issues that arise as an effect of erectile dysfunction. Relationship issues. So relationship problems can cause erectile dysfunction. But similarly, erectile dysfunction can cause relationship problems. It stands to reason. A man may withdraw emotionally and stop showing affection. His partner may feel rejected and unsure of his love. Or the man and or his partner may feel sad angry and guilty. They may not know how to talk about it with each other or where to go for support. This puts significant strain on their relationship. Then we have the matter of emotional stress. Due to the stress and anxiety surrounding the issue of not being able to perform sexually, the man tends to get withdrawn and show other emotional symptoms such as feeling less like a man or a loss of manhood. And that is where the real, perhaps the most commonly uh, experienced effect of erectile dysfunction can be seen. In the Caribbean especially, in Jamaica certainly, a man's sexual prowess is a significant part of his perceived masculinity. A sense of insecurity is another effect. It leads to low self-esteem, feelings of, of sadness for his loss. It is, it is viewed as a loss and therefore a person may actually go through the stages, uh, Kubler, Kubler Ross's stages of grieving over this loss. The person may, the man may become afraid of appro approaching a new sexual partner and so it can uh, um, it, it significantly impact his possibility of continued sex proper sexual relations. Uh, he may become scared of being intimate with his current partner. So the big question is, how is this treated? And I'm quite sure that immediately what pops the mind is the V word, Vagra. In this video, uh, the website that I mentioned earlier on, we'll show you how to get hard without Viagra. So perhaps you're thinking of the blue pill, and yes, it has become tremendously popular, perhaps known all across the world. Uh, a reflection of how significant the ED problem is globally. Um, but I'm, we're not talking here about those frightening TV ads. You know those ads where you see the touted treatment for ED, but at the end, the last minute of the ad talks to you about all the various side effects and complications that may arise from taking that ED treatment. Quite frightening stuff. So that's not what we're talking about here and focused on in this video. Introducing, drum roll, introducing Erect On Demand. You will be exposed, that link right down there below is an ancient recipe from the jungles of Peru which gives an 89 year old man his first erection since 1987. This super simple, all natural recipe puts an end to shameful, humiliating erectile dysfunction and restores the long-lasting erections that women crave. There is the website right there. HTTP colon slash slash bit dot loi slash stand tall now. Erect on demand. There's the website right there and it's also going to be placed in the description of the video for you. 
it, it, you will be exposed to this weird trick that kills erectile dysfunction and you'll be exposed to a video that tells you more about that um how an 84 year old grandpa discovered that same weird trick click to find out that's what you'll come across when you visit this website here shown here and which will also be in the description of the video so that's it this is a serious problem but i have come across a system called erect on demand that has proven to be absolutely effective at treating ed naturally nature's way without those frightening chemicals that are in the blue pill and the others like it share this video with someone hit the subscribe button let's get the word out there and get erect on demand